I'm wearing a hat again in my videos because uh, I'm beginning to lose my hair again with the chemicals that they're giving me. I remember it was in the 1980s, I was doing a talk in a large church on the stage area. I was doing it on the Ten Commandments, and I could tell you always know when this happens. I could tell that I was losing everyone in the audience, that they were rolling their eyes back, that they had glazed over, that this was not important and they really they'd heard it before and uh, it just wasn't resonating with them and i was only on the second commandment what do you do i had to continue and uh, i decided that day to to modernize the ten commandments so that you could take it you could use it and it would resonate with your soul something that's easy to understand and to live by the modern ten commandments commandment number one i will look only to god for the source of my good commandment number two I will not think my life is lacking of anything. God gives all I need. Commandment number three. I will not speak the words of lack or limitation. Commandment number four. I will let go and let God do it. Commandment number five. I will deal honorably with God and with all people. God's good is in all people and all things. Commandment number six. I will not have harmful thoughts toward anybody or anything. Commandment number seven. I will use my God-given spiritual power for good only. Commandment number eight. I will not seek something for nothing. Commandment number nine. I will be honest with God and with myself. Commandment number ten. I will not limit myself by wanting that which is another's. With God's help, through prayer, I will create my own. Well, there you are. The modern Ten Commandments. The real meaning in today's language that you can live by. I pray today that you will look only to God for your good. I pray that your life is not lacking in anything. I pray you know that God is your source and God gives you all that you need. I pray that you will not speak words inside of yourself or with your mouth of lack or limitation. I pray that you'll have the, the spiritual power to let go and let God do it. I pray that you'll deal in an honorable way with God and with all people. You'll know that God's good is in all people and all things. I pray that you will not have a harmful thought from this day forward toward anybody or anything. I pray that you'll use your God-given spiritual power for good only. 
I pray that you will not seek something for nothing, that you will be honest with God always and with yourself. I pray that you'll not limit yourself by wanting that that is another's. I pray that with God's help, you will create your own. And what a magnificent life it is and it will be. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray, amen.